going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Pickups. Let's get started. First up, we'll start with an eBay purchase here. These are pretty sweet. Just kind of been on a Jurassic Park kick lately. I mean, can you blame me? So I picked up uh, two packs of these vintage, I know you guys remember these if you're my age, these vintage puffy stickers uh, from Jurassic Park. Uh, I believe these are for, like the first series release, but they're really cool. They're just you know the puffy stickers I mean we all had these right they're just really awesome puffy stickers and uh, they're gonna find a nice home in my Jurassic Park collection I never buy matchbox cars I never buy Hot Wheels but this pack is the legacy collection uh, matchbox set the main reason I got this is for the Jeep and the Jungle Explorer uh, I've been having no luck tracking these two down in their single packs. I'm actually looking for myself and Ted if I can find a couple of these bad boys. It's still an awesome set and uh, it'll look good on the shelf with the rest of the dinos. All three of the legacy, well the last three of the legacy dinos that I needed because I already have the raptor down there and I believe that's all of them right? There's just four in this kind of open package design. So I grabbed the pterodon Pterodon's a pretty sweet figure. Obviously, this dino was from Jurassic Park 3, but I mean, technically, I guess it's in all three movies. Uh, even though we don't really see it in Jurassic Park. Uh, he's got a button on his back here that makes the wings flap. Now, uh, they don't really flap that well in the box. From The Lost World, I'm assuming, is uh, the Tyrannosaurus Rex. The, the young Tyrannosaurus Rex. Even though it doesn't say young, and it doesn't say juvenile, it just says... Tyrannosaurus Rex, he comes with uh, some capture gear, you know, kind of a little nod to the capture gear there. So you push down on the tail, push down on the tail, that makes his mouth open and close. It's, it's pretty cool. I kind of get everyone in the Legacy line, it doesn't matter. And then probably my favorite one besides the Raptor, uh, actually this guy is probably better than the Raptor, honestly. I got the, I'm going to try and say this name, the Pachycephalosaurus. Pachycephalosaurus from the Lost World as well. So he pushed out on his tail, he's got this headbutting action which is pretty cool. Uh, he's in the same box as all the other ones. Uh, cool picture on the back there. Just a cool figure. I love the paint detail. Um, the deco on the skin is great. I mean Mattel is just killing it with these dials. Last but not least, I mean, I know this is kind of old news. I have actually been sitting on these for a while and just forgot to show them in a video. Disney afternoon figures. Uh, so we're just going to run through them real quick. Let's start with this. Okay, look. I don't know what's going on with Chip, but I have not been able to find a Chip that will stay on the card. This was like the best one that I found. And as you can see, you can see like the glue, the globs of glue here where it's like it's dried weird maybe. There were a couple chips that I found at Target's where the bubble was just laying on the shelf below the card back where it was hanging on the peg. So this chip is still connected to the card, thankfully, but uh, we got chip. And to go along with chip, we got Dale and Zipper. Awesome to get Zipper. I hope they, I really hope that Funko continues this line because it's awesome. And then we have Baloo from Tailspin, another awesome figure. I love the card art, by the way, and the, all the, the pictures on the back are sweet. And then we have Scrooge McDuck with his money bag and cane, which is pretty cool. I uh, love the paint detail. Funko always does a good job. These figures are great. And then my favorite, which was the hardest one for me to find, was Darkwing Duck. I've yet to find the Chase Darkwing Duck, where I think he's like a different color or something. What is he, black and white or translucent or something? Uh, hopefully I'll track them down. If not, I'll just buy them online. All right, so that's going to do it for this episode of Pickups. I want to thank you guys for watching so much. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.